Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plug. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draft, how to do drafting of your 3D designs in Fusion 360. This video is my first video on drafting in Fusion 360. Though this will focus on developing your business skill, and I'm going to explain a uh, little, little, little things that you can use in the drafting workspace. So once your design is completed, design or it can be a design, it can be assembly or just a part. So just click on the toolbox space, go to design and uh, go to drawing and create from design. Then a toolbar will open and it will ask you the first thing that it will ask you is the full assembly. This uh, uh, tells you that if you want your drafting to be done of entire assembly or you want a particular uh, component or a particular part to be drafted so if i just click on full assembly you can see uh, the whole part is selected that means the whole assembly is take will be taken into consideration in the drafting workspace and uh, suppose that if i just uncheck this then it will ask you to select the particular component you can select any number of component that you want uh, that uh, that you want to be considered in the drafting workspace so let's for now let's click on full assembly then the next thing is create new or the untitled and the template would be from scratch the standard would be iso and asme uh, you can choose any standard you want then the units and of course the size the here the available size is from a4 to a0 for now let's switch to a3 uh, but before that one thing that you may notice that it will not ask you about the uh, angle of projection you want the first angle or second angle so what happens for that you need to go to uh, just click on my your name and go to preferences if you just go to preferences and journal and in the drawing section you can just select the standard iso or asme and you can just uh, if you just click on check on the override or restore format default below you can just uh, select the angle projection angle from here and just click on ok and apply now it will the angle you have selected in the setting will be applicable in the uh, design workspace so just go to design and just uh, full assembly and press ok now once you click ok it will take you to the drafting workspace wait for fusion to process your uh, drawing commands and this, this will automatically generate a page of this suppose that i have selected the a3 page it will automatically uh, draw the uh, margins and the title blocks will automatically be implemented now uh, the first uh, it will ask you about the orientation you can choose from orientation the top view whether you want the top view or the front view or the south face isometric and there are four isometric available each for every corner the left top view for now just click on front view and the second thing it is about the scale style the first one is of course the visible edges that means the let me just show you and the scaling is one is to one and just press ok for now now uh, it, you can see that it's uh, basically they are it's uh, like how we used to do drafting stuffs what if we just I click on edit view just click on edit view and select a view and just uh, uh, click on shaded and press close now it will uh, give you a realistic view of actual the drawing uh, and the actual color you implemented on your 2d drawing so just press uh, ctrl z for now we will uh, uh, keep it as it is now if we just click p for projection or you can just see click here for the projected view and it will ask you to select the parent view just click on the parent view just go towards top and it will automatically project its top view similarly go towards side for the side view and go towards bottom for the bottom view you can also project the isometric view by going diagonally in any particular direction so this is the direction and this is the uh, isometric view now the next thing if, if you want uh, to change the style of any any view just right click on it go to edit view and you can just select uh, change the scale the style whether you want radius to be shown in the view or not the interference and of course the thread edges 
you can change anything suppose that if i want to be to be shaded and press ok so you can change anything you want in view in, from here the next thing is the of course the title block so you can just uh, uh, by for editing you can just double click on the title block and you can edit each and everything written down here from the name department the drawing number etc etc further if you want to make your uh, more changes to your title block just click on title block and you can just add a new title block from here you can you can uh, just uh, uh, from go to from sketch name your title block and press ok and then fusion 360 will offer you to create your own title block so here you can create your own title block for now now just finish the title block let me just finish the now just press escape to uh, go out of that uh, title blocks edit in environment now you can see there are various sections let's start by uh, checking how the section view works so if you just click on section view it will ask you about the uh, uh, to, to create a line or create a plane uh, through which you want uh, the section view or section cut so let's just suppose that if i want a section cut of this profile then whatever i will do it will ask about this parent view so just click on this parent view and it will ask you about uh, the plane the plane so what we have what you have to do is you have to draw a line so let me just draw a line once the line is complete click on right click and just press on continue then it will ask you that if you just uh, uh, go towards the right it will give you a view towards your uh, left and according it, it is completely depend upon the angle of projection you are working on then in, according to the toolbar you can select the style the shaded one the scaling whether you want your uh, edge of the radius and most importantly uh, what components you want to be shown in your section cut so just place the section cut anywhere you want and just press on ok so i have selected the uh, uh, graphical view so you can see that it's representing a a1 is to 1 and this arrow represents that here is the section cut. this is the section cut of this particular profile now the next thing is the detail view uh, when the geometry is too short to be examined and then you can use this uh, detail view so for that what you have to do is again click on any parent view that you want uh, that uh, of which the detail view you want so for now just click on suppose that for now this view and then grab the point uh, on which you want uh, the detail view to be based on so just click on suppose that uh, this point and just the bigger the circle the bigger the uh, the circle represents actually the circle represents the area of the detail view so click on this then again it will ask you about the scaling the interference and the thread so let's just switch it to 4 is to 1 and you can see that it's a bigger view and just place it right over here you can of course change the style to shaded or visible or anything you want uh, according to your preference then you can see that it's a b section the detail view at b the here, here it is b and the scaling is 4 is to 1 so this is how you project different views in fusion 360 our my next tutorial will be based on the geometric the dimensions and etc etc in fusion 360 drafting workspace so hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos don't forget to share and subscribe my channel